Kia ora and welcome to Eating Disorders and Fueling Your Body for Year 10 Health. I'm um, going we'll to start with a quick three, so just answer these questions on your sheet. Um, pause me now. Name as many eating training disorders as you can. Name a film or TV program that portrays a teenager with an eating disorder. And what is the RDI for calories in a growing teenager? Welcome back. What will we be covering in this video? Um, we will be covering four eating disorders. Anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa and orthorexia and binge eating disorder. Okay, anorexia nervosa is an eating disorder defined by very low body weight relative to body size, extreme weight loss, often very fast as well, a fear of weight gain, um, and distorted perception of self-image and body. Um, Short-term effects on a person who has anorexia nervosa, they become um, very withdrawn, um, can be very cold all the time, um, have issues with their hearing as they lose the fat around the eardrum, um, skin and nail concerns as well as it gets brittle with lack of nutrients. Um, Long-term effects uh, range from bone de lack of bone density, um, organ failure and potential infertility. Bulimia nervosa um, is an eating disorder described by eating large amounts of food quickly which is called binging and then followed by um, purging or vomiting up what was eaten. Um, people with bulimia, the short-term effects, they become very withdrawn, um, avoid social outings, can have swollen necks and jaws around here, um, and have sores on the back of their hands from um, the purging, or, yeah, the purging, um, where the teeth grate the um, hands. Um, Long-term effects on the person are teeth issues because of the um, stomach acid coming up. It can ruin the enamel on your teeth. Um, Digestion concerns and issues as the stomach acid has um, been uh, up and down so often and infertility again. Orthorexia nervosa, this one's a bit different and a bit harder to classify but it's a desire to only eat healthy foods or to avoid entire food groups. This often comes with um, excessive exercise as well. Um, so short term effects is just an, an entire obsession. Um, they can have a loss of friends because they avoid situations where there are foods that aren't related to what they want to eat. And um, depending on how strict or how involved they are or how um, much they're restricting calories, could be um, weight loss as well. Long-term effects obviously again depend on the caloric insufficiencies but could be quite similar and would be quite similar to um, anorexia nervosa. Binge eating disorder is the other side of the um, coin. Um, comp compulsive overeating or consuming abnormal amounts of food while feeding, while feeling unable to stop, sorry, and a loss of control. So this is um, not just your general overeating every now and then, but this is your every single day um, obsessed with what you're going to eat, when you're going to eat, when will be your next meal, what can I eat then, how much can I eat, and just co continually eating past being full and yeah, to the point of being sick. Um, Short-term effects is feeling ashamed, um, eating until you're over full, so you have digestion concerns and issues, often constipation. Um, Long-term effects would be um, high cholesterol, heart conditions, um, and diabetes, and often people who have been gene eating disorder are um, overweight or um, obese. Um, links to, to her order, so after I've explained this, pause this and um, complete this on your worksheet. Um, you've got the four sides of your whare there. You've got Te Heningara, which is mental health, down here. Um, te Hafano, this says family health, but it's your social um, well-being. Your Te Hatinana, which is your physical well-being, and then your Te Hawaido, which is spiritual well-being. What I want you to do is I want you to think about, if you, uh, I want you to consider you are a person with an eating disorder. What um, what is one effect on each aspect of your order? So for example, someone with um, bulimia, we could say um, tahatinana, and you could talk about how their teeth are affected because of the um, lack of enamel due to the stomach acid. Okay, they could then talk about social uh, well-being and how they would avoid social gatherings because there is um, know, the pressure to then go bathroom straight afterwards. Taha Heningaro, your mental and emotional, so they're feeling a low self-esteem because they're not comfortable with how they look. 
and to her wider spiritual health, um, no longer happy with the person they've become, feelings of worthlessness and stuff like that. Okay, individual study, so pause me for this as well. Uh, after I've explained it, you need to choose one of the um, conditions in red. Uh, those ones that I have explained and answer those six questions. There is a link below there in blue that can help you answer some of these questions. So what does the disorder include? Who's most affected? What are the long-term implications of this disorder on a person's taha tinana, so that's physical well-being? What are some possible causes of this disorder? What are some signs and symptoms? What has been found to be the best form of treatment for this disorder? Uh, possible influencing factors. Um, again, you can pause me for this one. Um, in your book or doc, uh, brainstorm all possible influencing factors you can think of under the following headings. So what is likely to influence a person to have a um, eating disorder coming from their personal self, so their individual um, thought processes, from interpersonal, which is their family and friends or their close bubble around them, and societal, so community, society, um, the uh, media, all of that and stuff. And I think that's all we have time for, so thank you.